What's up guys, just a real quick video here. I am going to show you how to use Google Search Console, which is free, to figure out what you should be running ads to as far as like keywords, what search terms that would work well for your business to go ahead and add to your AdWords so that your ad pops up when people search these phrases. And the reason this works really well is you can come in, I've already got one pulled up, you just go to um, Google Search Console, there's a string of code that you have to put into your website. If that's something that you guys need help setting up, just reach out, we'll get that taken care of. Um, but yeah, after that's set up, it starts basically recording data from the website, right? And so you can come over here after a little while and see its performance. And you can see how many impressions you got versus how many clicks you got. And this is really what we're going to look for is a big disconnect here. So when we have something like this would be a great one to run AdWords to, because you can see that there is volume somebody is searching for that term and we're only getting one click to our website which means we're not having any opportunity to convert them into a customer so we would want to add embroidery near me geofence to our location right so it's not popping up across the world um, but geofence to our location we would want embroidery embroidery near me to be added to that keyword list and you can also come through this and start looking for like negative keyword terms too. It's something that somebody's searching for, but Google thinks may be related to what you're doing, and it may not be, right? So we can see that embroidery near me would be a good one. These other ones are getting low volume, but we are getting uh, the clicks, so that's not really necessary. Um, this one here is like these two right here would definitely be these three, something that I would want to go ahead and run ads to. Um, embroidery Springfield, 153 impressions. We have zero clicks to the website, so that's a lot of traffic that we could take. Um, potentially 153 people going to our website and turning into customers, right? Um, print photo 6250, that's a zip code here. That's probably not one that we want to rank for, right? Like we're not a photo printing service, so negative keyword uh, term would be maybe print photos just parentheses, print photos, that section there. That way you're not showing up for that term. Um, hat embroidery is near me. It's going to be a really good one. 80, uh, 80 impressions. We're getting zero traffic to the website from that. T-shirt printing Springfield, uh, 70 impressions, zero clicks. So that's something you just go to these queries basically and then you can search through and, and find those find those terms that you're not ranking for at all and go ahead and just run some traffic that way. You can go into the back end of the website too and start looking at some of these terms that you want to rank for and then changing some wording or adding some pages or something as well to try to help help rank organically. Um, but it's a lot easier just to pay to get in that spot, right? So go ahead and um, yeah, make sure that you're adding these keywords and rock and roll. Next time guys, see ya.